Hey guys, I'm Louis from Louis Loops, and today I've got a pretty uh, pretty cool pattern for you. We're going to be making a skull. Um, so let's just get going. Uh, normally I'm using a size G crochet hook um, and Lily's Cotton Ease yarn in um, cream and white, but I don't have the color cream. Instead I only have um, white and I'm not going to be using a size G, instead I'm going to be using a size I crochet hook. Um, and that's because it's easier to see what I'm going to be doing. So to get started, we're just going to create a slip knot. Um, and you can use the magic hoop method for this pattern as well. And um, this pattern is going to be split into two, by the way. So um, yeah, this is part one. We're going to chain two and single crochet six into the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pretty easy. Now I've never made it with this, this yarn before, so I'm not sure what it's going to end up looking like at the end, but we'll see. Now we're going to single. We're going to go into the first uh, single crochet we made. This is all worked in the round, um, so we're going to go into this one right here. Round two, if we can get in there. There we go, nope. There we go. And we're going to single crochet three into this, um, to this one stitch. So it's one. Man, that first one I made really tight. Two, and three. Okay, now we're going to do two in the next. So that's one and two and then one in the next. Now what I'm going to be doing on this one is I'm going to use, I'm going to take the tail and start crocheting uh, it into the piece so that it kind of disappears and I can close up that hole a little bit better. So we've done three in the first, two in the next, and one in the next, and now we're going to do that again. So we're going to go into the next stitch. There we go. And we'll do three single crochets. One, two, and three. Now we'll do two in the next one. one and two, and then one in this last one right here. Okay, so that's gonna finish um, it up for that round. We'll tie it a little tighter right there. And we're making basically an oval right now. Okay, so now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochets, basically um, another word for that is an increase. So we're going to increase in the next three stitches. So that's one, that's two, three, and four, five, and six. So that's three increases. Okay, so that's one regular single crochet, three increases, so we're at seven stitches total. We'll do three single crochets, um, and that just means one in each stitch. So that's one, two, and three. And so that's 10 single crochets total now. And then we'll increase in the next three again. There you go. 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15, and 16. Okay. Now we'll do one single crochet in the next two stitches to finish off the round, and that's going to be 18 stitches total. Okay, 
pretty, pretty easy there. And obviously this is going to be a lot um, bigger one than if you, the bigger yarn you're using basically is what I'm saying. Bigger yarn you're using, the bigger um, the finished product will be. Okay, so now let's make sure we know where we're at. We're going to be single crocheting one in each stitch around. So that's really easy. Just single crocheting one in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, two more, seventeen, and 18. Okay, so now that we have all those single crochets done, we are going to go into the next round and we're going to single crochet one in the next um, 10 stitches. That's one. And then once we get to the 10, well, once we get to eight stitches, um, we're going to bring in some black yarn. So, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we'll get our black yarn because we're going to be doing a thing here. Oh, there he is. We're going to be doing a thing here called splitting. And that's um a technique that I I don't know if I made it up, but I definitely made a video on it. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it right here. So that's number nine and 10. We don't finish our stitch here, okay? We're gonna flip our black under and go to change to black color. We're gonna leave it right there like that for right now. We're gonna go back into our stitch, into both loops, and pull through with our white right there. Now we're going to single crochet one in the next two stitches, but we're only going into the top or uh, the front loops. So as you guys may, may or may not know, there's two loops here. We have a front loop and a back loop. And we're only going into the front loops here. So that's one and two into the front loops. We're gonna pull that a little long and go back to our black, okay? Now we're going to go into the back loops of the last two stitches we made, so right here. We're gonna go into those back loops, single crochet one in the, in the two that we made. We're gonna pull a little bit long of a thread here, and grab our scissors, and we're gonna cut loose right there. And go ahead and pull this all the way through. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our white and we're going to single crochet in the next one in the next three and we're going in both loops now for the next three and we're carrying along this black yarn. So that's one, two, and three, and we're not gonna finish this round because we're gonna do this same thing one more time. Basically, we're making the eyebrows. So that goes under, pull through with black, go in through both of the, these loops right here, and pull through with the white. Now we're gonna single crochet one in the next two uh, front loops only. So that's one, 
and two. Pull a little bit long here and go back to our black yarn. And using the black, going into the back loops and doing one and two. Now we pull that tight, pull that all the way through rather, switch to our white, and we'll be done with this black yarn for right now until we get back around. And we'll single crochet one in our last stitch for this round. And cut it loose. All right, so we can put this black yarn away. Okay, so now we'll get to our next round. And we're going to single crochet one in the next 10 stitches. Pretty self-explanatory, same as the last round. So that's, there we go. Where do we stop here? All right, so we're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do the same thing as last time. So we're gonna go into our ninth right here and grab our black yarn again. And because we're about to change colors, so that's nine. In our 10th stitch here, we're going to be working only in the front loop right here. Okay, so work in that front loop, pull one through, and then change over to black like that. We're going to be working into these black stitches that we made in our last round. We're gonna be working into both loops of the black stitches. So how we do that, so we just go in here, get into a, right like that, we're getting in both loops. And we're stitching, single crocheting one in the next two, or single crocheting in the next two stitches with black. And we'll change over back to white for our next three stitches. And we're going back into our regular round. So we were just in the black stitch, uh, stitches, and now we're working into the regular stitches right here. Okay, so we'll get into this one right here. And keep carrying around the black because we're going to change to black again for the other eye socket. So it's one, two, and three. Now we're going to change over to black and work into these black stitches again, making our second eye socket. So working into both loops, just like that. And we're going to single crochet one in the next two in black. And then we're going to change over back to white, work in the front loop here. So that's one, two. Now we're back going back into the regular thing and we're working in the front loop to finish off our round. Okay, pretty easy. And you can see how we're starting to get an angry looking skull. So this will be our last, uh, we're gonna go halfway through this round before the end of this video to go to part two. So pull this black out of the way. And we'll be single crocheting all the way around until we get to our black holes, our eye sockets again, which is 10 single crochets. So that's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now in this ninth, we're gonna grab our black yarn again. So that's nine. We're going in our 10th here. Now we're gonna pull through with white, not with black because we want the top of our stitches to be uh, to be white and the bottom of our stitches to be black. So we're gonna pull through our first loop in the net, we're working into both loops still. We're gonna pull through our first loop on our black, we're gonna work backing into our um, black stitches here, going into both loops. And we're gonna pull through our first with black and our next with white, like that. Okay, and we're gonna do that one more time. 
So pull through our first with black and our next with white. And that'll like close it up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to work um, with white in our next. And now we're going to do, um, we're switching over to black on the top because we're making the nose hole, nose hole. And we're gonna work only in the back loop. Okay, so we're only working into that back loop right there. We'll go in right now. Just like that. See how we only went in the back one. And we're gonna change back over to white. Working into both loops for white. Ooh. Sorry, keep getting, I keep losing it. There we go. We're gonna pull through with a white loop. Okay, pull our next loop through in black. And then a loop through both of those in white. Do that one more time. And then pull through with white, like so. And then pull and go single crochet in the last one right here in all white. And that'll end that round. And we'll end that video here. Um, so check out part two. I'll just throw a link right here. And check out part two where we're going to be finishing our skull.